Hello everyone, today I'm going to be filming one of my old classic videos that I've done many times before on my channel. I feel like I've been doing these for about three, in fact I have, I think I've been doing them for about three years now. What I do is I spend an entire week where I buy every single advert that pops up on my Instagram feed. It doesn't matter what it is, if I see the advert, I have to buy it. I then unbox all of the products and test them out and we find out if the stuff that Instagram recommends to us is actually any good. I'm just going to get on with there. If you guys still enjoy these videos, give it a big thumbs up to let me know and I'll keep doing them. And yeah, let's go. So the first advert that came up was on my Instagram stories and it's from a brand called Fashion V, but they were basically advertising a bunch of their jeans. And I mean, they look like some nice jeans. I hope this is not a catfish. Sometimes with the clothing Instagram ad brands, they can be catfishes and it looks great. And then it arrives and it's crap. I really hope these are nice because they look really nice. <laughs> so this is what arrived. I ordered two pairs of jeans. Did I order two or three or four? Both of the jeans that I chose are actually in that little Instagram advert photo. So this is what arrived. They're basically some like straight leg jeans. Well, I think they're kind of like straight leg baggy style, which I kind of like at the moment. Um, they're in this sort of mid blue wash denim. And then you've got these little flowers just kind of embroidered on. These are also like in a denim, but just a slightly lighter color. These are gonna be way too long for me. My legs are not this long, but I'll try and make it work. But yeah, I mean, they feel like nice quality. First impression, they just feel like some standard decent quality jeans it actually feels like quite a nice sort of soft denim and then i also went for the black ones with the rips in the knees okay those are some ripped knees did they look that ripped in the picture <laughs> mm, i don't think they look exactly like the picture i'm not sure i'll have to wait until i try them on but these are also the same kind of style they're that sort of baggy wide leg um jeans but obviously these are black and they've just got rips in both of the knees but like there's just a lot of rip going on there. That's a lot of material. Again, they feel like good quality. Um, but as for the price, they weren't too bad. Like they're pretty affordable for a pair of jeans. The blue ones are $19.99 and the black jeans were $17.99. I don't know what that translates to, but it's pretty affordable. So yeah, I'm going to try them on. Hopefully they fit. Pretty sure they're not going to because I'm short and they are long, but Let's find out. <laughs> okay, so this is the first pair of jeans. As predicted, they are a little bit long. Um, I've put some like chunky trainers on, which has definitely helped a little bit, but they are still just a bit too long for me, but everywhere else they fit quite nicely. And yeah, I mean, they're all right. They're a little bit different for me. I don't have any jeans with flowers on them, but I feel like they are quite cute. The quality is pretty decent. And like I said, it feels like a nice sort of soft denim. So they feel like quite comfortable jeans. I think they're all right. I think they're quite nice. Okay, so this is the second pair. I love how they're both completely different. Like the first pair, they're super cute and girly. And then these are not so cute and girly. Um, I think they're all right. Again, they're a bit different for me. I wouldn't normally go for, I guess, these sorts of jeans. I don't know. They're just a little bit different for me. Again, they are a bit too long for me. Even with some chunky trainers, these are just a little bit too long, but everywhere else they seem to fit quite nicely. I feel like overall for the price, these jeans are pretty decent. You can't really complain. Um, yeah, they're, they're all right. So the next advert that I saw was again on my Instagram stories, and this is by the brand Nourished. I think I've seen these come up before, and I've always been in intrigued like they look really tasty but they're, they're vitamins like they're not supposed to be sweets but they look really tasty um so yeah they are some vitamins but it's basically like a design your own vitamin you can pick the different layers that go into it and sort of choose what you want in your vitamin i mean i feel like it's quite a nice idea this is what arrived it just arrived in this box okay so inside the box there's just a ton of these little packets <gasps> it's got my name on it oh wow it really is personalized it says personalized nourishments for sophie Oh, <gasps> but let me tell you, there's a lot in there. Like that's going to last quite a while. So it says here, Sophie's personalized stack. So I went for apple cider vinegar because that's good for people with stomach problems like me. 5-HTP because apparently that is good for sleep. And I then went for a lot of basics like vitamin C, vitamin E, iron, vitamin A, vitamin B12. Um, I think that's it. And then you got to pick what kind of flavor. I went for a strawberry sweet coating. Um, so yeah, that is, that, that's my stack. I'm not going to take one now. I'll save that for the testing clip, but I kind of want to just have a look and see what they look like. Oh my goodness. They smell so good. Okay. I'm glad I went for strawberry. That smells incredible. Like it actually smells like a strawberry sweet. 
It is huge. I wasn't expecting them to be that big. Oh my, can you see? That is a big vitamin. Like you don't swallow it by the way. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> yeah, you've got to swallow this. It's like a chewable one. Like it's like a sweet, like a gummy sweet. And you can sort of see the different layers where you've got the different things in it. But yeah, first impressions, they look pretty good. How much did it cost me? So this box was 39 pounds and 99 p. So basically 40 quid. There we go. I will cut to the clip of me eating this. <laughs> That's going to be a really fun testing clip. Well, no, I'll let you know how it tastes. Okay, I have awoken. It is now the next day. It is the morning and I'm going to take my vitamin instead of my normal Bassett's vitamin that I've taken for a really long time. I'm going to take this instead. And why am I kind of scared of it? Like, it's just so big. It's almost a little bit threatening. Like, I've just never seen a vitamin like it. Although I tell you what, it is really pretty. I'll give you, do you want a close up of my vitamin? You're going to get one. I feel like it is kind of pretty, like the different colors, the different layers. <gasps> I want what it will look like when I bite into it. So yeah, I'm just going to do a little taste test. Like I said, I went for the strawberry sweet coating. There were quite a few different flavors that you could pick from and you could do sweet or sour. Um, but yeah, I went for strawberry sweet. Okay, are you ready? I mean, it tastes good. It tastes like it smells, like it does taste like a sweet. This is what the inside looks like. So you can kind of see the different layers. So those are like the different things inside it. And they're all just kind of like stacked up. Obviously for now, I can only really give like a first impression of them, but I'm going to keep taking these. I realized you get 28 vitamins in that box. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take them for a month and see if I notice any difference by the end of it. I'm going to have the rest now. See ya. So the next advert that came off on my Instagram feed was from Casetify, who are a brand who sell phone cases. This little section of the video is actually sponsored by Casetify, which is really cool. So yeah, to begin with, I'm just gonna show you guys the cases that I picked. So yeah, the first one that I picked is the one that's on my phone right now. I think it's so pretty. You've got these clouds, you've got these moons, you've got these stars. It's actually beautiful. I'll give you guys a little close up shot. I also picked this one, which is kind of like this pastel design of the world. And then you've got these little white sort of constant and stars at the top. They also do customizable phone cases where you can pick your own font, your own colors, design layout. You can basically make your own little case. So I did this one, which is this pretty sort of pink marble with my name in black up the side. And then I also made this one. It's basically like a mirrored phone case. So you can literally use it as a fully functioning mirror. Um, and then I've just got my name at the bottom there as well. They sell a huge variety, by the way, in so many different colors, so many different designs. So I guarantee there will be something for everyone on their website. Their impact and ultra impact cases are made with Qi Tech 2.0 technology, which offers drop protection of up to 9.8 feet. So if you're clumsy like me and you drop things all the time, like me, then you're gonna find that really useful at protecting your phone. I'm actually gonna insert a little testing clip now showing you guys me dropping my phone. <laughs> okay, so this is my phone before. I'm sorry, but I can't get over how cute this case is. Um, Yeah, the case is on, this is it before. My phone is currently in perfect condition and I'm hoping it will still be after I've dropped it. Okay, so I'm stood up and I'm just gonna lift my arm up to give it a bit of height. And then after three, I'm just gonna drop my phone onto this very hard floor. Okay, are you guys ready? Three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Let's go and check if it's okay. I mean, it's looking pretty good. The screen is completely protected. It's still turning on. Still looks pretty perfect. Nothing's distorted or anything like that. The sides have been protected by the case. The back is looking the same as it did before. Everything is still in perfect condition. So the drop test was a success. <laughs> Their impact and ultra impact cases are also made of 65% recycled and plant-based materials. And their cases come in 100% recycled packaging as well. Their cases are also 100% non-toxic and non-hazardous. And they even feature an antimicrobial coating. Okay, I'm just editing this video and I'm pretty sure I pronounced that weird. I think it's pronounced antimicrobial. I was almost right, but not quite. <laughs> that basically kills 90 99% of bacteria by preventing the growth of microbes and by stopping bacteria from sticking to the surface of the case. So I feel like that's pretty cool. Like, I mean, it's very useful in this day and age. Case Divide also sell phone straps. So I have two of their new ones here. This is the matte rainbow phone strap and this is the glossy rainbow phone strap. So as you can see, they're very much inspired by the 90s, which I think is so cool. Cause I mean, I was born in the 90s. This kind of takes me back to my childhood. So yeah, if you're looking for a new phone 
own case for yourself or maybe for someone else as a gift for a Christmas gift. I feel like their cases would make really good gifts. Then head on over to casetify.com slash sophielouiseyt. It's also going to be linked in the description box and that link will automatically apply a 15% discount to your order. So the next advert that came up on my Instagram stories was from the brand. Well, I think the brand is literally just called Moon Planner. Like they're known for this one product. Um, so yeah, I bought it. I bought the Moon Planner 2022. It came in this box here. It's got my address on pretty much every surface. So this is all I can show you. I tell you what, this better be good because it was expensive and the shipping as well was really expensive. I'll tell you in a minute the price, but oh my goodness, I'm hoping for something special in this box. I swear if it's just like a flimsy piece of paper with a moon on it, I ain't gonna be happy. <laughs> okay, I mean, it's definitely not a flimsy piece of paper. That feels like a proper weighty book. Oh my, oh, it's beautiful. It's like packaged in this really nice um, tissue paper that kind of looks like the night sky. Oh, we've got little, oh my goodness, it's adorable. <laughs> oh my goodness, they've even sent me a rock. Thank you. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. I mean, it's really pretty. It's a really nice looking book. Um, it feels like really good quality. It's pretty thick. Um, yeah, I love the design. Oh my goodness. There's so much stuff inside. Oh, did that sound nice? Probably not. There's so much stuff in there. Okay, it's kind of hard to show you guys. I think I'll show you in the little testing clip. I can't really test this, but I'll show you like a close up of inside. There's way more than I thought. Like this is not your standard planner. <sighs> okay, I like this a lot. It was 35 pounds and 95p. No, it wasn't. It was in euros, 35 euros. So I don't know again what that translates to, but I feel like it's quite a lot for a planner. And then the shipping was like 20 quid or something like that. And I was like, oh. Yeah, my first impression is it does look really nice. So yeah, this is a little close up of the front of the planner. And then on the inside, there's honestly all sorts going on. Like it's more than just your standard planner. Um, there's a load of info on stuff. You've got the effect of the moon, uh, info on zodiac signs and stuff like that. It's me, I'm an Aries. Apparently I'm a leader. Um, yeah, don't, don't know about that. <laughs> I am brave and fearless. Yeah, um, that's me. <laughs> I swear I'm not an Aries. Well, like I am, but I just don't match anything about them at all. Like I'm honestly the opposite. So yeah, they've got that for every single star sign. And then what else have we got? Oh, we've got info on like crystals. Are these crystals? Yeah, I think they are. And then I'm guessing there's like, okay, yeah, there's like the actual planner at the end. So for 2022, there's an entire planner. I think this looks looks great. I thought it was maybe a little bit expensive, but looking at it, you get a lot in there. So I think it probably is worth the money. Okay. The next advert that came up is actually a brand that I've shopped from recently. So it knew, it knew what I'd been buying from. Um, it's from the brand Boho Moon and they basically sell rings or they might sell other jewelry, but they mostly sell rings, I think. Um, and it's actually where I got these two rings from that you might've seen me wearing recently. And yeah, I got an advert for it. So I bought some more rings. I was kind of going to do that anyway so I was more than happy to. I've honestly never been a ring person until I found these and now I think I'm a ring person. I've been converted. Yeah, this is the little packet that the two new ones that I've ordered have come in. They come in this cute little pouch and it just says Boho Moon on it and then inside, well, I'm guessing the rings are in here, that would help. Oh yeah, and then they come in little mini ones as well, like little mini pouches. That is actually really adorable. So what did I even go for? I can't remember. Oh uh, yeah, okay. So the first one I went for is you're not going to be able to see this, are you? I will do a close up again in the testing clip um, and I'll show you these close up as well in case you haven't seen them. But yeah, the new one is a little star, like it's little star cutouts all around it. And then the other one, oh uh, yeah, this one's like, um, I think it's an opal. I almost forgot to say the thing that I really like about this brand is the rings come in a lot of different sizes. Like they go as small as an extra, extra small. I have quite small fingers and I feel like a lot of rings just drop off of me. So it's quite nice to have some that are actually like sturdy and aren't gonna fall off. They're not cheap. I will tell you, they're not cheap. I got these two in like a deal. It was when they were doing like every ring for £10. So I got these for £10 each. But when I got these, the deal was no longer happening. The one with the opal was £35 and the one with the stars was £20. So I mean, I guess it's not 
too bad because jewelry is expensive. I will now insert some clips of me showing them up close for you guys because at the moment you can barely see them. <laughs> Please excuse my really shaky hands. I'm going to try and keep them as steady as possible, but it's, it's not going to be easy. But these are the rings that I got last month. I thought I'd just show you these first. Um, so I've got this one, which is kind of like a moon with a kind of starburst looking thing on it. And then this one is like a really chunky ring, but it's got, I guess, kind of like just little gems, crystal looking things going along it. And then these are my new additions that I got for this video. Um, this is like the little opal. I think it's an opal. And this is like the star cut out. The stars go all the way round. Oh my goodness, I'm so shaky. Um, I got all of mine in gold, as you can probably tell, but I think they do silver as well. And I think they also do rose gold in some of them. Um, so there are different colour options, but these are my rings. I'm probably going to keep buying more. Um, and yeah, I really like them. The next advert that came up is another clothing brand. This is a brand called Neo Jana. Neo Jana. I don't know if I've said that right. I, I saw the jumper and I was like, yep. I'm so happy that I have to buy this because I probably would have bought it anyway. I think they sell like a range of different clothes, but for this one, I got a jumper and a t-shirt, I think. They came in this little bag. Okay, so for the jumper, I went for the one in the Instagram ad photo. Ooh. I feel like the quality doesn't feel the best. Like it's not awful, but it's not very soft. Like it's quite a rough jumper and it's not like super thick and cozy. It's sort of, oh, I don't know. It's just not the nicest material, but it's not awful. But yeah, this is what the design looks like. It's just a giant moon. And then you've got these like mini moons up here. Um, It's just a black sweatshirt. It looks like it's going to be quite like an oversized fit. And then this is the t-shirt that I went for. So again, it's got this sort of moon phase design on it. I think it's a really cute design. I actually think the t-shirt shirt looks nicer than the jumper and it feels like it's almost a nicer quality it's like a little bit softer um and this one is on what would you say this color is i think they called it gray but i feel like it's almost like a bluey gray i don't know it's a nice color and yeah it's just like a super oversized t-shirt um but as for the prices the jumper was 26 dollars um and the t-shirt was 16 dollars I, I just i don't know the exchange rate but I don't think that's too bad. Okay, so this is the sweatshirt. I actually quite like it. I think it's quite nice. Um, like I said, it's not the softest material. Like it's not got like a nice soft bit on the inside or anything like that, but it's still like a decent material. It's definitely not bad. I quite like the design. I think it's quite cute. Um, it looks similar to the picture, but I feel like it just looks a little bit nicer in the photo. I don't know. I feel like it looked almost a bit more kind of vintage and acid wash E did it or am I imagining that? I swear it did, but this one's just like a plain black. So I feel like it's not exactly like the photo, but it's close enough. It's also a super oversized fit, so I really like how it fits. Um, I can wear this as like a sweatshirt dress if I wanted. It's definitely long enough on me. Um, and yeah, I, I like it. I think it's a nice sweatshirt. And then this is the t-shirt. I was not expecting to like the t-shirt more than the sweatshirt. I thought it would be the other way around, but I like this more. I don't know what it is about it. I just like it more than the other one. I feel like the material feels a little bit nicer. Like it's a little bit softer, but it's still like a nice, thick material. Um, so yeah, I feel like the quality is really good of this. Again, I really love the design. I really love the fit. It's like a super oversized fit. Um, and you can wear this as a t-shirt dress as well, if you're short like me. I also like that it's got really long sleeves as well. Like I hate a t-shirt that's sort of up here. I like a t-shirt that covers most of my arms, so it's almost not a t-shirt. So I really like that as well. Overall, I really like it. I think these are decent items of clothing and it's not a scam. <laughs> This next product is probably the thing I'm most excited about. Like, I really hope it's as good as it looks in the photo. If this one is a scam, I'm gonna be so sad. Um, so the next advert that I got was on my Insta stories again, and this was by the brand Space art C, and the advert was basically for these light bulbs they're kind of like based around space so there's one called the mars one called the galaxy one called the uranus <laughs> um i went for the galaxy one because it's kind of like a purpley pinky blue and i thought it looked the prettiest so this is what arrived and then inside we've got a couple of things so it's just like a little black circle base um and then you just plug it in with a plug and then this is like the little socket that the bulb will go into so this is what it looks like oh my goodness it looks pretty and it's not even turned on yet oh 
My goodness, it's actually so pretty. Okay, so it's kind of like a mix of purple, green, and blue. I'm scared I'm gonna drop it. This is an item I do not want to drop. <laughs> I need a case to buy phone case for this. Uh, this cost me 39 pound and 95p, so basically 40 pounds. So it's quite a bit, but I feel like it's quite impressive. Like it's, it's impressed me enough. That I feel like that is okay. <laughs> has a lovely tapping sound as well. Anyway, I'm gonna cut to the testing clip and we'll see what this looks like when it's turned on. Okay, so I've just put this together. You just kind of screw the bulb into here, obviously. Um, it's a little bit wobbly. I think maybe that screw needs tightening, but yeah, I've put it together. I've turned it, no, I haven't turned it on. I've plugged it in and I think you just do this to turn it on. Three, two, one. Ta-da! Okay, a little bit anticlimactic because it's too bright in here. You can't really see. Let me close the curtains. Okay, I've turned the brightness all the way down. I feel like that has helped and you can kind of see it a little bit better now. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. It is really pretty. Why did I think it was gonna like move around? I thought it was all gonna go like swirly and move around. Why did I think that? <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't do anything. I'm guessing you just turn this the other way. Yeah, oh, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? <gasps> How do I turn it off? It's off. Overall, I think it is really nice. It makes like a nice little home decor thing to put up in a room somewhere. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. If I can get it to be a bit more sturdy, I'll be happy with it. So yeah, the next Instagram advert that I got was from a brand called Zen Gems. Um, and the picture immediately, I was like, what is this? I don't know what it is, but I need it. But yeah, they're basically a company that sell like crystals and things like that. This is the little bag that they've come in. I think I picked three, um, but I picked some really tiny ones, like the smallest size that they do because I wanted them to fit on an item that I'm going to be showing you guys in a sec. So this is the first one. As always, I'll show you better in a testing clip. Like I'll show you up close, but this one is called Soda Light. <laughs> Am I saying that right? Soda Light. It's just like a really pretty like dark blue with some white flecks through it. I also went for this one. This is a rose quartz. Um, It's just like a really pale pink. And then finally, I went for the one that's the photo in the Instagram ad because I thought it looked so pretty. I was like, I need that. <laughs> Aww. I mean, I feel like it doesn't look exactly the same. The one in the picture had a lot more purple in it. This doesn't really have any purple in it. It's more like a dark blue and a greeny color. Um, this is a fluorite. I definitely said that wrong. F-L-U-O-R-I-T-E. So yeah, those are my three little crystals. They cost me eight pounds each. So yeah, 24 pounds for three little crystals. Um, I'm now gonna do a little close-up shot so you guys can actually see them properly. Okay, so here is a little close-up of the, oh my goodness, I've already forgotten their names. I think this one was called Soda Light. I think so. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. And here is a little close-up of the rose quartz. You can barely see this one. It's such a pale pink it's almost like clear. This is what this one looks like. I think this one's so pretty. And then here is a close-up of the... I can't remember. Oh, fluorite. I still don't know if I'm saying that right, but you guys know what I mean. Um, I think this might be my favourite. Um, even though it's not exactly like the photo, I still think this one is probably the prettiest one, I think. And then obviously with crystals, they all have like meanings behind them. So this one is truth, intuition, and self-esteem. This one is love, optimism, and compassion passion. And then this one is concentration, self-confidence and decision making. So yeah, they've all got little meanings um, and they're supposed to boost things. And I don't know, I've never really known much about crystals, but I'm interested. I'm interested to learn about them. <laughs> so the final Instagram advert is actually not an Instagram advert that I got myself. This is something that one of you guys got an Instagram ad for and you sent it over to me because you were like, oh my goodness, Sophie is going to want this. Um, and sure enough, I, I definitely did want it. And I bought it. Um, it's basically an ad from Etsy and the item is like a moon wooden light up shelf. Um, and in the picture, they've put a load of crystals on it. So that's where I'm gonna put my little crystals. So yeah, I actually got this a little while ago, so it's already been all unboxed, but this is what it looks like. How pretty, I mean, pretty, is that the right word? It's wood. Can wood be pretty? Do you know what? Yeah, it's pretty. I just think it's so nice. It's in this like crescent moon shape. You've got the cutouts of the stars. You've got your shelving going up and that's that's not where it ends. Mm -mm. It lights up as well. Like on the back, they've got all of these sort of like fairy lights on there. You can turn it on. Okay. In this light, you can barely see it, but it, it lights up 
and then it like leaves a nice glow on your wall behind it. I completely forgot to say what the brand is actually called on Etsy. Um, they're called Copper Moon Boutique. This one was £54. So, you know, it's not cheap but I feel like it's worth it like it is just really nicely made yeah I will now cut to a testing clip and I will show you it up on my wall and turn the lights on and put my crystals on and all will be right with the world <laughs> so my shelf is on the wall and then there's a little switch to turn it on and um, there's a little switch under here <gasps> There we go. I think it's so pretty with the light on. It just leaves this really nice glow behind the wall. And then obviously where the little star cutouts are, you can see the light coming through there as well. It's so cute. So yeah, that is my little wooden shelf. I really like it, as you can probably tell. <gasps> Wait, I need to put my crystals on. I mean, I'm definitely gonna need some more to kind of fill it out. There we go, that is the start of my little crystal shelf. And I love it, I I'm actually obsessed. <laughs> And yeah, those are all of the products that I got on my Instagram. I feel like a lot of them are moon themed, but it's because my phone hears me say moon all the time. Like, I think that's why it happens. Cause like I said, phone's always listening and it hears me saying moon, moon. For anyone who doesn't know, my cat's called moon. It hears me saying that all the time. So then I get recommended moon stuff. I'm not complaining though. I am not complaining. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out and it lets me know that you like these videos. And yeah, I think that's me done. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye. Oh my goodness, you can still see the moon in the corner. Wow.